Okay, here we go with example 10 from page 525 of your textbook. Write down the period and amplitude and find the equation of the function. So, uh, we know that transformational form of a sine function looks like this. And in this case, they're actually asking us for the period, which we're going to need to know that number, the b. And we're looking for the amplitude, which is this number, uh, the a. All right, so we know that the amplitude of a function is the distance from the middle of the function to the maximum or the middle of the function to the minimum. In this example, the middle of that function happens to be uh, y equals 0, which is the x-axis. That is our principal axis in this case. Okay, I could tell that because the maximum of this is 0 0.5 and the minimum is negative 0 0.5. So halfway in between the max and the minimum is uh, 0. Uh, so there is the principal axis y equals 0. Okay, now because we now know that distance is 0 0.5, in both cases, and they must be equal, then all of a sudden we know that that a value is 0 0.5. All right, so we know the amplitude then, 0 0.5. We also need to be able to find the period of this function. Now remember the period is the horizontal distance in which it takes the function to start repeating itself. So if we look at this function, and we start here at the origin and start tracing along the function. It starts repeating itself right here. All right, now we need to figure out how far horizontally that is. It's a little hard to tell from this graph. So instead, I'm going to use another strategy. I notice that over here is 2 pi. So here's an ending, 2 pi. And how many periods do I have in between 0 and 2 pi in this case? Well, there's one. If I take another color and do another one here, there's another period. And if I look uh, with a third color, I can see that there's a third period here. So I've got three periods between, uh, sorry, I've got three periods between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so that must mean that uh, in from 0 to 2 pi are three periods. So that means that each period is 2 pi divided by 3. Okay, so 2 thirds of pi is each period. All right, so in order to figure out what our B value is here, we need to use this formula. Period equals 2 pi divided by B. In this case, we know the period is 2 pi over 3, so let's just substitute that in for period. That has to be equal to 2 pi over B. And therefore, we can see here that b must be equal to 3 in this case. All right, so we now have our function y equals 0 0.5 sine 3x. And there's no horizontal or vertical uh, transformations because it goes through the origin and moves upwards which a sine function needs to do right away. So no horizontal translation and no vertical translation because the principal axis is at y equals zero. And there we have it.